Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a 4th of July water marble, and I'm going to stamp over it. I've started with Oint Peel Off Base Coat and Zoya Purity. Just a white cream. And then I've applied my liquid latex, and I have covered it all in posh. I'll be water marbling with Sally Hansen's Cherry Red from the Extreme Wear line, and blew it also from the same line. And I'll be using the Dainty Digits Clearly Marvelous. And I'm just using a regular cup of water, room temperature. And I'm going to go in with the dot of the red and twirl my toothpick around the side of the cup to make it spread out. And then I'm doing a drop of the Clearly Marvelous and then blue and then clear again. And then red. Got to make sure it finishes spreading and then drop in another clear and then one last blue. And I'm going to draw my design in with my little toothpick and I'm just going out kind of in a starburst pattern and then I'm going to bring it all back in. To the center and I'm dipping down to kind of anchor it together. There we go. And that is the design I'm going for today. Just a little bit different. Not nothing groundbreaking or anything. This has been done before. Then I'm going to go in and clean up all that excess polish so that when I pull my finger out of the water, I don't ruin my design. And there we go. And I like to hurry up and get this liquid latex off quickly. As soon as I'm done with each finger, I'm not just going to pull mine and break it and then peel it off. And there we go. And we're going to do one more. I've actually done all my fingers, but I'm only going to show two. <laughs> Y'all don't want to be here that long. <laughs> but we're going to do the same pattern, the red, the clear, and then the blue, and then more clear. And red again. <laughs> and then clear and then blue and I was really impressed with the clearly marvelous it worked really well to leave that blank space to show the white underneath I thought that worked out really well and I've used a couple of other ones I've used one from where have where was that one from Ugh. Oh, Pipe Dream Polish had one, and I've got it also, but this was what my hand grabbed for this time. And I'm just going to turn the, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to turn the cup and get the part of the design I want, make it easier to dip. And I'm going to pinch my ring finger and my thumb against the cup to hold it still so I don't spill it. I had a bubble I had to pop, and there we go. I'm going to peel that liquid latex off again. Snap. Snap and peel. There we go. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup because, of course, I never get my liquid latex up as far as I should. Didn't do too bad this time, but I still got some big blobs I need to get up. So I'm going to clean those up with the uh, Q tip real quick. Scrubby scrub. Get it off. And then I'm going to go in with my, I'm back, going back to my pure acetone, guys. I'm just, you know, it works so much better. And I'm cleaning up with my Sonny Kushak Tools number 27 brush. And my cleanup is very minimal. It's, it's really impressive how well that one worked out. Because sometimes even if I use liquid latex, I still end up with a really bad mess. I'm going in up under the fingers because you know that's where that water marble likes to hide. And I've got a latex boogie. Hang on. Got to get it out of there. Yuck. Don't want that getting sealed in with top coat. And I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat. Get it to dry so I can do some stamping. Now this design right here is just gorgeous all on its own. You could wear it just like this. Very patriotic. 
but I can't leave nothing alone. So I'm going to do some stamping. I've got my Bundle Monster H25, and it's a very patriotic plate. My Faber Nail Scraper, and this is a Creative Shop stamper because I'm going to have to shrink some images or one image. And I'm using the Nicole Diary Black Polish. It got cut out of the film, and I'm just pinching the stamper and then letting it go to shrink that image. There are much better videos out there on YouTube on shrinking an image than mine. And then I'm going to line that up and plop it on the nail. Got me a hat with a fourth on it. And now I'm going to go back to my monocle stamper from Bundle Monster to do the rest of them. So I can get better placement. So spoiled to these clear stampers. And I'm going to put that one on my middle finger. And it just looks like a firework hat. A hat with fireworks shooting out of it. And now I'm going to do this eagle. Well, eagle head. It's not a whole eagle. It's just part of one. And I'm cleaning up the rest of that excess polish because I don't want that on my nail. And I'm going to put him on my thumb. And he's a little harder to see than some of them because he's got some fine lines, but I was okay with how it turned out, so I just left it alone. And then I'm going to put stars on my pointer and my pinky, kind of just over half of the nail. I felt like they needed something too. I didn't want them getting jealous. I'll try to line that up and plop them on. And there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my tape, and this one's coming up really nice with the tape. In fact, I don't think I'm going to have to break out any acetone. Makes me happy. It's the little things. Little things make us happy. Big things make us happy, too, but, you know. So I'm going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat to seal in that stamp design. Capping my ends to make sure that it's nice and coated. And there we go. Here's my swatch photo. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.